What's up, y'all? It's Mel, and welcome back to It's Mel, baby. How y'all doing out there? Today, I have for you all a Winkle Hall. Um, we had an outing at the Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese is not the same, y'all. I used to, even as an adult, I used to go to Chuck E. Cheese and have fun. I, I had fun, sir, per se, but the games, the food, but, well, yeah, they did have food when we was young, but I've never had Chuck E. Cheese food till today, and Chuck E. Cheese can keep their food. Um, We're not even going to talk about the pizza, because that's what we had, and, uh, I ate a piece in unity like, but it was crap. Um, Little Caesars has a better pizza. That's what they should have did. They should have just ordered them from Little Caesars when somebody brought a pizza. They still would have been making double the profit. <laughs> uh, but anyways, and after we went to the Chuck E. Cheese, you know, we did it. We went to a few other places, but Winkle was one of them. And I needed to go to Winkle because I needed a red bell pepper. It didn't work out that way. But here's my haul. I got another bag of lettuce, Butter Supreme. It has green butter lettuce, red butter lettuce, radicchio, and baby short. Um, I was kind of skeptical about buying this though, cause there's a recall on 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 some kind of vegetables. When isn't this a vegetable or is it just lettuce? Well, I think I think I'm good, but I don't think they would sell it if they had a recall on it, would they? Okay, lemonade. I saw this. This was like on the display walking in the door. They were only eighty eight cents. I guess I guess this one for Alonzo, cause I only told him I want one, and he just grabbed another one. So I'm guessing that's for him. A coconut water. I started not to buy them because they support someone I don't. Back then. I'm not sure about now. And I saw these. They're called Protein 2 O. Um, this is mango peach. But this has 15 grams of protein in it. So I say, hmm, might as well go ahead on the try it. I also got it in cherry lemonade. <laughs> so we're going to see what that's like. I got me a Marzetti Ranch, classic ranch, made with real buttermilk. Because I'm in the search for... Um, we keep eating this ranch out, but we don't never ask them who makes it, and it be off the chain. But I, I, I want to say it's these people, because me and Keisha was like, is that Marzetti or is that Marie's? I know it's one of them. Maybe not, but we're going to find out. There go the red bell pepper I went to the store for. This is for, to cook my lamb meat. I shouldn't have brought this. Cause I really wanna, uh, hold on. It smell all right. But I don't know. I just didn't care for the woman who was getting it. Like, 
They literally have tongues in the container. And she grabbed it with her hand. Yeah, she got a glove on, but that still just look nasty to me. Uh, this is pepper turkey. And this is off the bone ham. I only got a few items because we were pressed for time and uh, I had to go to the 15 items or less. So I got a pack of hot dogs, a pack of bologna. Thousand Island dressing. Yellow mustard. And I got a sweet relish. I didn't have any more. But y'all needless to say, I had more items than this. Because I had two of these. I also had uh, some honey mustard. I put that back as well. I had uh, some pieces for Alonzo and his cousin. I put those back. I put back a, pe uh, a hot dog and uh, some chips I had. Um, give me that, oh, I also brought a loaf of bread, um, it's over there and lines on his Oculus, so, you know, he don't have the time, cause, them children be tripping when they be with them video games, and, uh, man, You really? Honey, we drink over it. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I don't know why I brought that bread. Because I throw away more bread than I eat. And, uh, you know, it, at some point, it's, it's, I feel like I'm wasting money. So, maybe I'm going to start freezing half of it. Hmm. But I never did care for bread that come out the freezer. When I was growing up, my mama, well, no, my daddy would take us to the, uh, I'm going to call it bakery discount. And even though it was some bean, it was a some bean store and whatnot, we'll get so many loaves of bread. Then they'll stack them in the freezer. And like, oh, we don't have no bread, go get one out the freezer. Then you got to wait for that bread to defrost and shit. Or you put it in a toast on three or four times. Like, nobody ain't got time for that crap. But another thing about putting bread in the freezer is I'm whistling. I, I would fix it right now, but I don't want to do that in front of you people. <laughs> um, it could get freezer burnt. And I don't know. Freezer burnt bread ain't the best to me. You can toast that crap and it's still going to taste like the freezer. And uh, my parents used to save so much shit in the freezer. Like uh, Keisha make her own seasoning blends and whatever. My mama used to do that too. We'll have big bags of onions, big bag of bell peppers, all that kind. And, and you know, eventually, you know, it get into the freezer. Another thing I used to hate was freezer burnt butter. Oh. You ever had that? You know, you go, uh -huh. Horrible. Uh, we used to get the, the, the commodities. You know, that's for the folks who can't qualify for food stamps, but they still won't help you feed your family. And uh, they'll give you them big pound blocks of butter. 
and my mama and them would throw them in the freezer. My grandma too. And uh oh we need butter. Everybody like. Can I just give you my allowance and go buy some butter or something? <laughs> like, I don't want that. <laughs> like my first encounter with freezer burn butter. My first encounter with freezer burn butter was from my grandma do. And it just ruined my whole plate of grits to where I was like, I don't even want breakfast. Can I just go outside? But you know, I grew up, my grandmother went through the depression. So you think she was letting us throw that food away? Oh, I'm glad you realized, hell no. <laughs> and she made us eat that. It wasn't until later on she started letting us give out like that to the dog. But before we could, she let us give it to, to the dog. And then even when she let us give it to the dog, she'll be like, you ain't need enough of that yet. I know you, don't, you ain't full and I know you ain't, all right, go ahead on and eat more of that food for I see if you could go outside. Then it's like, wait. I got to eat this shit to go outside now? Come on. Today, a few more spoons. She looking at you like, who the hell you think you kidding? And I be like, and then when she realized you didn't want to eat the food, she, normally she'll fix our plates, sit us all around the table, and she would go in the front room, getting her, you know, sit in her chair and watch TV. But when she realized you didn't want to eat the food, she wasn't going nowhere. She'd be like, uh, oh, nah, and pull her a child and watch us eat. I'd be like, damn. I think that that was all our faults because, you know, when she was like, well, you can give it to the dog, everybody was like, and the dog, one day, the dog had a whole bowl full of grits. And I guess she was like, hell no. You know, she watched us for a while. But it's because your freezer burnt butter. That shit is horrible. Look, just don't even put no butter in mine. I just put some salt on it and get happy. <sighs> because, uh, freezer burnt butter ain't the way to go. It ain't. And um, my mama would get them blocks out the freezer. Oh, don't nobody want to eat that shit. Be like, look, while you using that block, I don't want butter. I just don't want none. Oh, you put butter in that? Fuck. Because um, even though my parents didn't force us to eat, whatever we didn't want to eat, they ain't give us no substitutes. And even if, just imagine, it's something you want to eat, and they put this freezer burnt butter in it, and you all like, yeah, happy with your plate and shit, and you go ahead on and get your first fork. gotta look to see where she at because if you cut up in her face it's, it's gonna be a problem it's like bitch i already don't cook for y'all and this is what you, what i get when i do cook so you gotta look for her. say you want my grits <laughs> that didn't work because my brother could only eat so much then his plate was already loaded from the get-go because that's how he eat. I was so glad when I was old enough to be able to be like, let me taste it first. Because, <laughs> you know, when you're not old enough to be able to say that or think of saying that and it just fits your plate, you stuck with it. Ooh. Miserable, miserable, miserable. All right, then, y'all. 
that's my whole from Winkle. Ironically, it's the same amount of items that I, oh wait, I'm missing something. In this, fruit roll-ups. Keisha brought um, Lonzo and his cousin some, but it wasn't this flavor. And uh, I like strawberry fruit roll-ups. So I went on ahead and got me some. But the sad part about this is I, um, I'm probably only going to eat one to send the box home with him. <laughs> um, wow. What? I said, wow. Or you could keep it here and you have it when he come back. Because he got a box that he bring out with him. All right. And we have one there. I'll right keep there. it here for him when he come back. Mm hmm but you know his big brothers will be tagging it. Mm -mm. Talking about, can no. I get a fruit roll up? Mm -mm. Hey, can I get one of the fruit roll up? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I knew I had one more item. But as I was about to say, ironically, this haul is the same amount of items that I got from Sam's and Walmart. Mm. So, another 17 item haul. Yeah, I know. But hey, they wasn't over there checking me out, so I'm going to check out how many I want. They're talking about 15 item limit. Bitch, open up some more fucking lines then. Them lines was packed up. Because uh, I kid you not, I'd have had both of my jars of relish. I would have had my honey mustard. But like I told Keisha, I say, look, I'm not risking that because let me tell you what they do then. If they have to, uh, so say leave you, they'll take hours before they send somebody back for you. And um, I wasn't doing that one. Good thing I get in cool with them. Huh? Good thing I get in cool with them because they don't leave me. I wasn't doing that one. They already dropped, we had already been out there since earlier. And uh, it only got hotter. This sun out here now is not the sun we grew up mm -hmm. with. I don't know what happened or what's going, I know what happened and I know what's going on. But this is not the sun we grew up with. This sun will eat your ass up. Burn it's you. Or maybe it was just that we was young and didn't give a shit. I know. <laughs> I know, right? Right. I think that's what it was. Now that we done got older and stuff, the sun ain't for us. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Get my ways to put hats on to keep the sun out of our eyes and shades. And right. SPF 30. <laughs> 50. Yeah, SPF 50. All right, then, y'all. That's my haul from Winkle. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all be blessed. Y'all stay safe. Y'all have a good one. And until next time, have fun with your family and friends, but responsibly. And uh, peace, love, and have reach. I'm out.